Today we're speaking with AACR President Elizabeth Blackburn. She is the Morris Hurstein Professor of Biology and Physiology in the Department of Biochemistry and Biophysics at the University of California, San Francisco. And she is, of course, a 2009 Nobel Laureate. Thank you very much for joining us. Glad to be here. So we're gearing up for the 102nd Annual Meeting. What will it be like this year? It'll be tremendously exciting. I think that the science of cancer research is just surging ahead and there's so many interesting areas that are, are breaking and uh, have built upon uh, decades of tremendously good basic and translational and clinical research. And we're seeing some of this coming to fruition and this will be very well represented at the annual meeting in 2011. How has your year been so far as president? It's been wonderful, very stimulating. I feel that one of the things that um, one can feel is a worthwhile thing to do is to be president of an organization like the AACR. The mission of AACR, which is to combat cancer through basic research, I think is, is, is one of the more worthwhile missions I, can, I could think of, and I'm, I'm very glad to be associated with this. The main goal of your presidency is to bring increased attention to prevention, and you've coined the phrase cancer interception. Would you discuss the meaning of this term? Well, I think that cancer prevention is an important part of the battle against cancer that is an, an important part of AACR's mission. And a lot of the science that has advanced has been in areas that turn out to be very relevant for the general idea of cancer prevention. And yet the term cancer prevention doesn't necessarily capture all of the ways that we can attack cancer based on the knowledge that's arisen from research. And so uh, the simple idea that might be thought of if you thought of prevention would be something as simple as cessation of smoking. Very important, but by no means capturing all the other ways that one can uh, try to ameliorate the burden of cancer. And so uh, the word cancer interception was a term that I, I think is a good one and it was something that uh, in discussion with one of the AACR foundation board members uh, we decided captures what we want to get about this idea of understanding we can intercept cancer earlier and earlier as cancer is uh, generated. Cancer is a process. It's not just an event that suddenly occurs. It's a process of many, many years in uh, somebody's body, very typically. And it happens in stages. And the more we're understanding about the biology of this, the more understanding the risk factors that lead to very early stages in cancer and the ways that we can intercept it at different stages in the progression of cancer, all the way from it being um, something that can affect large populations of people to uh, smaller risk groups of people down all the way through to very personalized uh, medicine aspects. So I think we can capture that in the term cancer interception. Could you expound on the AACR's impact on the field? I think AACR has played key roles in the area of cancer prevention, having championed the uh, area by having a uh, journal, for example, and think tanks and, and promoting active research and conferences in the area of cancer prevention. And I think that, um, that AACR can play a unique role in saying, well, we have to think about the the, the battle against cancer is, it's, it's like having two hands, they have to clap. You have therapeutic, but that's one hand clapping. You have to have the other hand clapping, which is prevention. Then you make the big impact on cancer overall. And because the research, much of which has been funded and promoted by AACR, um, has led us to the point where we really have much more powerful tools for prevention and interception than we had before, I think the timing is, is right for this. So it's actually a very natural outgrowth of what AACR has been doing. Finally, what is your vision for the future of cancer research? 
Well, my vision for the future of cancer research is uh, in an ideal world, it would be unnecessary, right? <laughs> We'd all be out of a job, but that's clearly not going to happen because biologically speaking, the biology of human beings is a reality that cancer is, is, is part of us. So we have to understand how we can ameliorate that and in global ways. And uh, so my sense is that um, we have so many new tools, we have so much better understanding of how cancer works that I, I really think these impacts, which is clearly beginning and have begun already, these impacts are just going to get more and more uh, uh, strong as, as time goes on. And they're going to be very research driven. And AACR's role in this is, is not just in the US, it's global, it's very important uh, in terms of worldwide impact on cancer. So I think that uh, we, we can really look forward to significant improvements and they're going to be coming through research. Dr. Blackburn, thank you so much. Thank you.